Baseball season is underway, and despite having to battle rocky Midwest weather and long stretches away from home, the team at Goshen College is off to a decent start at 6-10, and 10, including a pair of conference victories over the Marion Knights. A big part of that early season success is a pair of juniors, pitcher Eric Pettipis and RBI machine Jenner Rodimer. Pettipis is 2-2 two two as the Leafs' starting pitcher and was named Crossroads League Pitcher of the Week for his complete game performance against Brescia University, striking out 11 batters in a 7-0 win. Pitching that complete game uh, against Brescia, that, um, it was awesome. It felt great. Um, but, you know, like, that's just one game of the season, right? I mean, we have a, we play a 50-game season, so if you take that next day off, you know, your next appearance isn't going to be great enough. Rodimer is picking up plenty of attention as the team leader in hits, doubles, triples, home runs, and RBIs. But a late February win over Ecclesia on the road saw Rodimer take it to the next level as he went 5-for-5 five five with nine RBIs and a grand slam. Yeah, it was an incredibly exciting day. Um, I found out later that I set the RBI record for a single game, and that was exciting, but um, you know, I can't take all the credit. Our whole team was hitting really well that day. Guys were obviously on base, and I'm sure if I didn't bring them in, Joseph Serta would have behind me. So, While other teams may have been shocked to see the pair put up such great performances, the yeah. coaching staff is not. I think anybody on the coaching staff wouldn't say like they're surprised by their success just because we know the amount of work that they put in to get to this success. And so, uh, yeah, I expect more of the same, to be honest and candid with you. I think as they get rolling and they feel more comfortable, we're expecting more of the same. We're expecting good at-bats from Jenner every time he steps in the box and quality starts from Eric every time he uh, gets the ball and toes the rubber. Fans in the stands will see the impressive box score, but what they don't see is what Coach Childers has seen from the pair in between games. He's done a really good job handling a variety of pitches. He's a tough guy to pitch to. He's bought into approach, um, not expanding the zone a ton. Uh, and, he, and he's gotten comfortable hitting with two strikes, which is just kind of uh, shown in the results that he's gotten early on. And, you know, when you got that guy that you can slot in, that you can depend on a good start from, man, it just really helps out your entire pitching staff when you get that. But growth comes not only on the mound or in the batter's box, but off the diamond as well. Extremely proud of how they developed as men, as much as I'm proud of how they developed as baseball players. Like they're just two really good guys that uh, are guys that can trend a program in the correct direction. When asked what the goal was for the season, both athletes didn't even need to hesitate. I really just want to help our team win as much as we can. That's our team goal is to, of course, make it to the playoffs, something that I haven't done in my, during my time here at Goshen. We have eight and a half more weeks to go until the Crossroads League tournament. I'm excited to see what this team has for us. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Seth Smith-Goffman.